All right, so you want me to start? So we are the Delgado family. We are the proud owners of Old Sheepdog Brewery. My name is Gus Delgado. I'm one of the founders and brewers here at, at, at the brewery. My name is Brisa Regalado and I am the proud owner of this amazing craft beer brewery here in El Paso. We have three great sheepdogs. Actually one of the reasons why we're called the cheap, old sheepdog uh, brewery because of, of our dogs and our love for animals. This is where we, we're doing our, our brews in here. It is a two barrel system. A barrel is 31 gallons, so we're, we make roughly around 62, 63 gallons of beer in here. But because of all you guys, uh, we are retiring these bad boys and we got a new system for you that I want to show you. Let me come on over. We do, we, we have pups here too. <laughs> Now it's all right, it's even better. A little of the backstory of why we built this place is we started home brewing in our house and it evolved to a passion of making craft beer for the community. When we were looking to find a place of where to do that, we knew it had to be here in South Central, which is where I grew up with my family. And so this is where it started. We started looking for a building that embodied our vision and what we wanted to do. And once we found this location in the heart of El Paso, we knew it was the right fit for us. A lot of local artists do do bring their art over. So come on down here. This is our, our working station over here. Because of the tremendous support that we've had from uh, the people that come in and drink here, uh, we were able to recently purchase this, this brew house. This is a, a seven barrel brew house. Translates to 14 kegs. Currently right now we do four kegs at a time. This is going to allow us to be able to be all across the city, hopefully, uh, and then hopefully later all across the state. One of the things that we do to bring some of that cultura to our business is we like to incorporate a lot of different events. We did start Bachata and Salsa Nights every Wednesday, and it was a really great turnout of the Hispanic community coming down to have craft beer and enjoying some dancing. Obviously, since, since day one, we were all about family. We wanted to have a place where, where families could come in and enjoy themselves. I think for us, just always being a representation of our city of El Chuco, I think that was really important for us. We never look to move outside of our city, but more show people outside of our city what El Paso means and what it's about, about our cultura, our Hispanic heritage, and the beautiful people that we represent. I come from a very traditional Mexican family, so we were able to incorporate uh, a lot of those flavors, or a lot of those customs into our beers uh, by bringing beers with, uh, with very bold chili flavors, candies, and, and different beers that we've done, and that's how, that's how we started building our little name for ourselves in El Paso. So at Old Sheepdog, uh, we always tell the people, come for our beers, because they're delicious, of course, but, uh, but stay for the cost. What do I mean by that? Uh, at Old Sheep Dog, it's all about community. It's all about helping out. Um, and we've done several beers that are emphasized to help out the community. This month, we're doing the Ella uh, can, which is dedicated to women that have been uh, victims of domestic violence. So proceeds of the beer are gonna be donated. We've also uh, helped out the Raramuri community. This was a mole brown beer. This particular beer was helped out to, to the uh, people of the indigenous people of Chihuahua. These particular artists put in um, this, this label, which uh, includes 23 starts, one for every victim of the August 3rd uh, shooting, uh, which we have honored because that particular incident is very hard for us because um, our aunt and uncle, unfortunately, uh, our victims were part of the 23 uh, people that were killed on that day. Um, that is why we have a mural uh, that was done by the artist Tino Ortega in, in front of our building. Uh, and it says, I love EP. We've dedicated a beer for our aunt and uncle called Novia Linda. And we're bringing that back in August 3rd uh, as a remembrance and honor to them. 
as well. And it's a, and it's going to be a very, uh, very fruited, uh, you know, a lot of aroma, flower aroma. And uh, so hopefully all of you guys could come in and enjoy that beer as well. Uh, so the process of doing beer, it starts down here. So this right here does the, uh, this is your hot liquor tank, uh, which it just heats up water. Like I said, the process of making beer is very similar to making tea. Uh, so you heat up your water, you have your little um, tea bag and you put it in, in, the, in your container of water. So this is the container of water and it moves it down here and it puts it in this particular, which is called the mash tun. We put your, the grain in here. So if you wanna look inside, this, <laughs> sorry, this right here, this is your mash tun. So the, the grain sits in here. This is our grain, this is corn. Uh, I have corn, roasted barley, oats, our pilsner. So our grain looks like this when, when we first get it. And then we mill it to crack, up, crack them open to get, um, to get all those uh, cool little sugars that are gonna make um, later on your beer. This, uh, this is your false bottom. It extracts everything that you extract from the grain. Uh, it sits here roughly like around an hour. Uh, once, once it's done, we extract everything, it's no longer considered water and it goes into what's called wort. And it transfers over into your boiled kettle. The boiled kettle, this is where we add all the, um, the hops, anything that you, you may wanna add into the beer that you're not gonna add it during fermentation, uh, any type of flavoring. Pretty much the way that you can see it is that if you add the hops at the beginning of the process, you're gonna have a much bitter beer. Then if you add it at the end, it's gonna have much aroma instead of bitterness. So once we are done with the beer, we cool it down. Um, it, it's cooled down with a plate chiller, uh, which is um, one side cold water and the other the hot wort, and it transfers heat. And then we put it into fermenters, and the fermenters are over here. Come on over. Yeah, one of the, the biggest things is that um, El Paso is known for Chuco, right? So what does Chuco mean? Chuco means the people. Chuco means that, that we're not straight out Mexican, but not straight out American. So it's our own little, little country here in El Paso, our Chuco, Texas, by the art uh, that we have all around our, our brewery. And so just bringing in all that, all that history, all that talent here, it just makes it whole. Right now, because we are small, our fermenters are one barrel system, so every two is one beer. The beer uh, ferments roughly like around um, in three weeks to up to three months, depending on the style. We add the yeast here. Once the, the yeast has done its work, which is creating alcohol, we dump down the yeast. That's why it is in a cone, so everything settles down at the bottom. Once they eat, they go to sleep, and then we dump them. And then it sits here another probably another week or so to age a little bit more of the beer. And then we transfer the beer into our bright tank. Here it sits for uh, three to four days and it sits at 28 to 29 degrees to anything that is floating to come down, settles at the bottom. And then at this point, this is also where we force carbonate. Um, the carbonation takes like around five hours at like around 15 to 18 PSI uh, of uh, CO2. And then once it's done, we'll go ahead and keg it and then you guys could enjoy it. Our next goal is to expand and to be able to put our beer in different retail shops, restaurants, bars here throughout El Paso, and then eventually carry our beer outside of El Paso. Yeah, we, we've actually been blessed um, by the community and that they've, uh, they've shown this love and support towards us. So we're hoping that in the near future, by the end of this, uh, this year, we're able to have our, our beer, not just here in our tap room, but all across the city, and hopefully in, in a couple of five, ten years, all across the state of Texas. Bueno, Raza, pues aquí los esperamos. Salud. Salud. <laughs>